lot different one of these days. Come on. There ain't no bedrooms in this joint. That's a newspaper building. You're getting paid, mister, for opinions or for hauling? Ah. Jedediah, after you, Mr. Kane. Excuse me, sir, but I... Welcome, Mr. Kane. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the inquiry, Mr. Kane. I'm Herbert Mr. Carter, the editor-in-chief. Thank you, Mr. Carter, but uh, this is Mr. Leland. Oh, the, how do uh, you do, Mr. Leland? New dramatic critic. I hope I haven't made a mistake, Jedediah. It is a dramatic critic you want to be, isn't it? You know that's right. Are they standing for me? You? Oh, yes, Mr. Uh, Kane. Uh, uh, standing? Uh, how do you yes. do? Uh, how do you do? Uh, I thought it would be a nice little gesture. Uh, the, uh, ask new, them to sit down, will uh, you please? new publisher. Uh, uh, you may resume your duties, gentlemen. Thank I didn't you. know your plans, so I... I don't know my plans myself. I'm unable to make any preparation. Matter of fact, I haven't got any plans. No. Uh, except to get out a newspaper. Oops. Mr. Bernstein. Uh, yes, Mr. Kane. Mr. Carter, this is Mr. Bernstein. Mr. Bernstein, Mr. Bernstein is my general manager, Mr. Carter. General how do you do, Mr. Carter? Carter? Yeah, yes. Mr. Carter. Uh, how do you do? Mr. Carter. Yes, how do you do? Mr. Carter. Uh, yes, Mr. Bernstein. Mr. Carter. Carter. Mr. Kane. Mr. Carter, is this your office, Mr. Carter? I, uh, I, I do uh, uh, private sanctum at your sir. disposal, but I... You didn't mean to hear that. I don't, don't understand. You Mr. Yeah. Carter, I'm going to live right here in your office as long as I have to, and I'm Carter. Uh, live here? That's right, Mr. Yes. Excuse me. But, but, but the morning newspaper, Mr. Kane, That's after right, all, Mr. Well, man, we're, we're practically closed for 12 hours. Excuse me. 12 hours. Excuse me. A uh, day? Mr. Uh, Carter, that's one of the things that's going to have to be changed around here. The news goes on for 24 hours a day. 20 Excuse me. That's right, Mr. Carter. Excuse me. 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 Excuse you that. certainly are. You're the dramatic critic, Leland. That's you enough. still eating? I'm still hungry. Now look, Mr. Carter, here's a front page story in the Chronicle about a Mrs. Harry Silverstone in Brooklyn who's missing. Now, she's probably murdered. And here's a picture of her in the Chronicle. Why isn't there something about it in the Inquirer? Because mm -hmm. we're running a newspaper. Joseph, I'm Not absolutely starving to the breakfast lady and get some. I'm very hungry. Right. Look, Mr. Carter. Here is a three-column headline in the Chronicle. Why hasn't the Inquirer a three-column headline? News wasn't big enough. Mm -hmm. Mr. Carter, if the headline is big enough, it makes the news big enough. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Now, the murder of this Mrs. Harry Silverstone. There's no proof that that woman was murdered, no or even that she's dead. Says she's missing, and the neighbors are getting suspicious. It's not our function to report the gossip of housewives. If we were interested in that kind of thing, Mr. Kane, we could fill the paper twice over daily. Mr. Carter. That's the kind of thing we are going to be interested in from now on. Mr. Carter, I want you to send your best man to see Mr. Silverstone in Brooklyn. Have him tell Mr. Silverstone if he doesn't produce his wife, Mrs. Silverstone, at once, the inquirer will have him arrested. What? Have him tell Mr. Silverstone he's a detective from uh, the central office. <laughs> the central office. If Mr. Silverstone gets suspicious and asks to see your man's badge, your man is to get indignant and call Mr. Silverstone an anarchist. <laughs> Loudly, so the neighbors well, can hear. You really? ready for dinner, Jedediah? I, I, I can't see that the function Mr. of a respectable newspaper... Mr. Carter, you've been most understanding. Thank you so much, Mr. Carter, and uh, goodbye.